Today I'm going to show you how to make Frodo's sword from Lord of the Rings, and this will be a charm, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your loom is set up like this, so that it's just one solid row of pegs and that your arrows are facing away from you. Now take two white rubber bands and place them going diagonally like this. Another two going straight forward and another two white rubber bands again going diagonally. So now already you're going to take your hook and wrap a single rubber band around it four times and then take again another two white rubber bands and place the this little chunk of them going onto it so it should look like this and then these two should go over here and you should have something that looks like this now you're going to want to place this right on there, like that, and this little bump should be facing towards you. So now take another two rubber bands and place them going forward, and you are just going to want to keep on doing this, again always using two rubber bands. So just keep going and you're gonna have to do this a lot and this is kind of what takes up all of the rubber bands that are needed for this charm and now this is your last one and you should have four pegs remaining that do not have any rubber bands on them so now you're going to want to come back down to this middle peg and do that again, the same amount that you did for that first row. Still always using two white rubber bands. And if you wanted to do his sword when there's like orcs by, like I know that glows when it's blue, you could do this um, blue or use glow in the dark rubber bands like I am. So now your loom should look like this, with these eight pegs with no rubber bands on them. Now you're going to come to this peg here, but you're going to do it a little differently. You're still going to place rubber bands going forward, you're just not going to go the same length you did for the other ones. So now place one more rubber band like that so there's these three pegs with no rubber bands on them and you're going to want to push these down here and go diagonal like that so now you are done placing the sword part and we're going to do these little edges here so you're going to take a single white rubber band and wrap around your hook four times like you did on the beginning and now again take two white rubber bands and move these onto them and if you don't get them all you just have to like grab those little extra ones there and then put it onto your hook like that and now I like to move them down just so then they can't get off when I'm moving this part but now again take two white rubber bands and move those over them so like this and it should have this little bigger part and each time after you do this you're, it's going to get bigger now we're going to do that one more time 
and then we will put this on the loom. So again, hook those bands and then bring those ones forward. And now it should look like this. So you're going to want to push these down and place these rubber bands onto this peg here. Like that. And now pause the video here and repeat the steps for that. Okay, so now you should have this again. And you are going to place those rubber bands onto the other side. So, like that. Now, this part gets a little confusing, but you're going to take a single brown rubber band and place it going forward like this, and now a single white rubber band and place it forward going like this. And it's very important that you do these like that, otherwise your handle will not turn out right. So now again, a single white rubber band, I mean brown rubber band, sorry. Now you place a single white rubber band, single brown rubber band, single white rubber band, and now come back up here and do the same thing again, just for the same length too. So now one more, single brown rubber band, single white rubber band. Now take two white rubber bands and place them going over like that for both of these. So now we're going to place our cap bands. So take one white, a single white rubber band and stretch it out. Now make an eight and put it back onto your fingers so it should be around them twice. And place that right there. Now do the same thing with a single brown rubber band and place it over there. And it sort of helps to just push them down every once in a while. So you're just going to keep doing that same thing over for three times with the brown rubber bands. Now do it again over those two. And now you're going to need to twist the rubber bands twice more, so that single white goes over there. And now the last white twisted band goes right there. You're still going to need to place cap bands, but there will only be single rubber bands that are not twisted. So I just wanted to push those down and go over all three pegs without doing anything special to your rubber bands. And now you are done placing them and you can turn your loom around like so and then reach your hook in through this little square, push it back and grab these bottom two white rubber bands and bring them forward and then around like that. Now push past this brown rubber band and grab the bottom white and brown rubber band and bring them forward. Now do the same thing until you reach that little um, white part that sticks out. So one more time and now stop. So now come back down to this bottom part and stick your hook through here, push back, and grab the bottom two white rubber bands, and those ones are going to be really easy to get forward. So now again, pass this brown rubber band and forward, and just go till the same spot you stopped at before, and stop. Okay, so I'm going to just hook all of these rubber bands up until here. So this one is kind of confusing because there is a lot of rubber bands, so I just like to put 
push these two that I'm going to be hooking way down and then all the other ones way up so it's a little easier. And you're going to stick your hook all the way through there and just grab the bottom two rubber bands. Now bring them up and forward. And then sort of pull it this part out so it's straight. And now just pretty much do the same thing that you were doing with the brown and white rubber bands, just with the two white rubber bands, and just keep going forward until you cannot go forward anymore. So then stop here. And we are going to come back down to this peg again and do the same thing where you push past all of those rubber bands and only grab the bottom two and bring them forward. So now just keep doing that once. And now this is very important that you hook these bands first. So if you push past that twisted band, grab the top two white rubber bands, and only the top two, and bring them forward like that. Now go back and push past the twisted rubber bands, and grab the other two white rubber bands, and bring them forward. Like that. Now I'm going to do this row of pegs. First, so push past those bands and grab the bottom two and then bring them forward and again bring them forward and just keep doing this until you can't anymore. So stop there and now come back to this peg here and push past that single and bring those two forward. And again, just keep doing this all the way through. And it's okay if that happens. Like, it's not going to matter, so you can just leave it. Now, come over to this peg and push past the single rubber band. Grab the bottom two and bring them forward. And you're going to want to push these down so you have room. So now pass that single and bring them forward. And then again, pass the single and bring them forward. So now you're going to be getting this little piece on here. So stick your hook all the way down through all those and out like this. And then, sorry, my rubber band's a little twisted up. Take a single white rubber band and just bring it all the way through all of those rubber bands. But be careful that you're only grabbing this one single and have it on your hook like this. So now take this front rubber band that's closest to up here and bring it back. And now take your new front rubber band and just pull it tight. Sorry about that. And now you can just take it off the loom. And I like to use my fingers because then I know the rubber bands are not going to snap. So it does take a little bit longer if you use your fingers, though. That is one downside. And there is kind of a lot of rubber bands, so it is a little bit harder if you use the hook, though. Or just peel it off. And now this last rubber band clump is the hardest. And now you have your rainbow loom sword like this.
Thanks for watching. Bye.